All right, let's look back in history. This day, June 24th, 1971, Fred Smith, he filed paperwork in Delaware for the formation of an air freight company called Federal Express. Now, the idea had been born about a decade earlier when Smith, who was an amateur charter pilot at the time, noticed that he was frequently getting flight bookings to ferry spare parts for computer companies like IBM. So he decided to write a paper for his economics class at Yale, making the case for an overnight air delivery service. Now, Smith would later take about $4 million inherited from his father and $80 million he raised from venture capitalists to pursue that idea. While Federal Express incorporated on this day in 1971, it would take almost two years before it began delivering its first packages. And it was a lackluster launch. From Memphis, Tennessee on March 12, 1973, a launch that carried just seven packages on the night's first run. Disappointed, Smith relaunched the service a month later with different routes, this time handling 186 packages on the first day, not nearly enough to have a sustainable business. But he would soldier on and his fortunes would change quickly. First, more companies realized that Federal Express was faster than the Postal Service. Second, a 1977 law deregulated domestic air cargo transportation. And third, the evolution of just-in-time inventory business models sparked a boom in world trade. Volumes rising from $500 billion a year in the early 1970s to $3 trillion in world trade by the late 1980s. And Federal Express rode those waves all the way to become the first company to reach $1 billion in revenue within 10 years without an acquisition. By 1994, Federal Express shortened its name to FedEx, sitting atop the hill of all global shippers, and today ships more than 16 million packages each day. FedEx, though, like many pioneering disruptors, now finds itself disrupted a bit as itself, as its businesses shift away from air freight to more ground transportation services. A new CEO, Raj Subramaniam, he entered the picture just about two years ago, and tomorrow, he is expected to finally update investors on the process of restructuring the company's air and ground delivery unit, units into one. This is part of a sweeping plan that was intended to update the company for changing times and hopefully to ensure that FedEx keeps flying for another 50 plus years.